Hi guys, so it looks like finally, after weeks of waiting, we may now just be days away from seeing actual, real, official cheer pool support. A tweet on the official cheer project Twitter account yesterday linked to a post on cheer.net from two of the principal architects of cheer, Gene Hoffman and Bram Cohen. In the post, they announced that they are now entering the second phase of testing of the official pooling protocol. This phase, according to the original presentation, is the pool self-validation phase for cheer devs, pool operators and community members. In that same document, it was stated that after three days of testing without any critical bugs, the code would be released to mainnet. However, since that would put the release day on the weekend, and Monday is a public holiday in the US, the most likely release day would be on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. This is according to a post in the private dev channel by Gene Hoffman that was reposted to the Cheer subreddit. The original Cheer.net blog post also gives a date of week commencing July 5th. And the official Cheer FAQ has also been updated, saying that testing has now been performed and the launch will happen soon. So we may well just be a few days away from being able to finally start plotting portable plots for use with the official pooling protocol. In the meantime, of course, there are still thousands of people with many terabytes of original plots that they'd like to be making use of. And with the delay in the release of the official pooling protocol, the number of unofficial pools has grown from just one a few weeks ago to ten today. Without many pools, it may be hard to keep up on which pools are worth joining and which are probably not. To help you with the decision, a new independent site has just been launched, farmingpoolcalculator.com, which allows you to see at a glance how much space each of the unofficial pools has online, how many individual farmers they have, and the average payout per petabyte of storage over the last 24 hours. Of course, the list is dominated by HPool, who still have 12.5 exabytes online, despite new registrations having been suspended for the last few days. Bear in mind that the daily income here is just a snapshot from the last 24 hours. And luck plays a very big part. Just looking at the stats from the Russian Eco Pool, for example, we can see that the number of blocks won per day varies greatly from 0 to 4. As for me, I'm going to be keeping my tiny 15 terabytes of space on age pool, at least until I hit 0.2 cheer. I'm at about 0.17 cheer right now, and I've already had one payout. So I need about another 0.3 cheer to hit the next payout threshold. After that, I'll gradually start to replot using the official protocol when it comes out next week. HPool also announced today that they'll be reopening registrations for new users from tomorrow, July 2nd. It may be a little late in the day now with official pools just days away, but it's still a way to make use of your original plots. Since you won't be able to use them with the official pools, they'll only be good for solo farming. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.